Okay, guys, I've done it. I've figured out how to uh, use the Flysky i6 for the SBUS port, which is called iBus. I couldn't find anything on the internet, or, uh, you know, anything concisive on YouTube. There's a couple of guys out there doing stuff. Um that shows how to well, I take that back. There's a couple there's a couple videos that that help me, but basically, you know, you have your three, you are two, you are one, which is a, just an input. It's pretty simple. Um I fried out my S bus UART port. So I had to connecting. So I had to use UART2. So I'll show you what I did. I don't want to confuse you. This is really simple. I was checking my fail safe after I got this build done here and it just went rocketing up to the ceiling and it basically cracked the signal pin off the pin hole just kind of cracked off so I thought this morning what am I going to do so I went with UR2 so what you do is you uh, you know you hook it up to your servo on the IA6B receiver. You go to ports. You want to check. Now this this one here is for your USB. To, you know, for the GUI to communicate. Normally, first I check this one, and that was the S bus UART or the the one by the the regular channels, eight channels, and then, um, or is it six channels, whatever it is, and then you got S bus. So I turned that one off, I turned on UART2, and sure enough, I go over to my receiver, and it, you know, worked just fine. It was simple as that. It took about all of five minutes. But, you know, I never saw anybody do this on YouTube, so. Um, you know, my videos aren't the greatest, but I'm just trying to show you what I'm doing, so maybe I can help someone out. Turn it on. And anyway, we're getting some lag here because of my computer. I've got so many things running, but we've got all the, all the channels here. I want to be careful not to arm because my motors will spin up on this this guy. So, and I'm not going to shut off for I'll have another fail fail safe. So, but yeah, that's all there is to it. So that's how you you know hook up the Fly Sky i6 to Clean Flight. Now I forgot to tell you, after you do your ports. After you have your ports configured, you want to go to configuration. And then once you get into configuration, you want to go down to Yeah, I, I do apologize. Maybe I can get a, a better computer. You want to check iBus. Right there at the bottom. You'll want to have a fairly updated version of Clean Flight. And you want to hit RX Serial right there. 
So you want to check IBUS and Serial after you do the ports. So, and of course you want to go down and hit Save and Reboot. And that should do it. So that's my video on how to connect iBus for FlySky i6 receivers, which a lot of people who have bought, you know, ready-to-fly kits are using because they can't afford a Tranus. And, you know, I can afford a Tranus, but I'd rather have this uh, GoPro session for 200 bucks, and, uh, you know, I'm sure I'll get one someday. Anyway, thanks for watching, guys. Like and subscribe if you're into this kind of stuff as much as I am. Thanks for watching.